Yo, everyone, and welcome back to another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video. My name is D-Free. Here today, we will be showing off none other than the Int Troll Han Gohan. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Hit that subscribe if you're ready for more content. Yes, he is getting an EZA. So not only him, but the AGL Ugly Ku, as I call him. But you guys know him, that original Super Saiyan 1 Goku, alongside the physical Piccolo. They're all getting their EZAs. So it's going to probably be a, a, one event. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But... It's coming, so I hope you guys enjoy. Hit that subscribe if you're ready for more content. So um, this guy is pretty linear, pretty straightforward as far as like what he does. Huge shout out to Talon for the translations. He says, Gohan's leader skill is all types, three key, 40%. Decent, I guess, as a sub lead if you need that for Battlefield. The super attack greatly raises defense for one turn. Passive skill is own key plus four, and attack and defense plus 70% at the start of the turn. If you have a Goku named card attacking on the turn with you, though, you get 70% more attack. And it can't be Kid Goku, Goku Jr., or Ginyu Goku. So it has to be a Goku card other than that. So I'm assuming it works with the Super Saiyan 4 that's here currently. If not, we'll have the tried and true tech Goku Gohan card because that one does work for the other requirements like that for the other Gohan here and other Gohan as well. So uh, that being said, we're going to go ahead and float you and go from there. So also, I didn't really cover the links because the links don't change. It picks up uh, Shattering the Limit. Oh, no, he already had Shattering the Limit, so he doesn't pick up anything. So yeah, Super Saiyan, same warrior race, Golden Warrior, Gaze of Respect, Kamehameha, and Shattering the Limit as the final link. So I'm actually really excited for the Trunks to eventually get his. I assume he'll be in the next batch. They might wait a little bit longer. Who knows? 58k defense pre-super attack. Again, he raises on super greatly, so that's going to be really good. So if you build him with additional attack investment, um, for the Goku event, he'll actually be really good because of the fact he could potentially do multiple 50% defense raising super attacks. But otherwise, he's not going to be the best tank. So starting off with 1.4, I feel like we have a lot of avenue to grow from that, though. We've got a lot better opportunity to have a higher attack stat than that, though. But it's really nice to see the change because beforehand, he just did supreme damage. And then passive skill was key plus 4 and attack plus 2,500 when HP is 50% or above. I actually rainbowed this guy in Trunks for a video, but I just kind of never did it. It was about a month ago, and I was going to talk about how I, my hypothetical easy A's for them, but I guess we don't need to do that. So we'll just show the actual easy A's. If you have not seen, and it's not live in the game. It should be soon. If you have not seen, though, the, um, oh, that, that Gohan I've never used in the video before. I'm actually really excited to maybe show him a little bit. If you haven't seen, though, the uh, STR cooler. So the STR cooler is coming out, of course. If you have not seen his gameplay showcase, check it out. Link will be down below. That man impressed me something vicious. He is insane. So let's see if Gohan can get that same, uh, not not to the same degree, but that same impressing. But I will say that, um, again, going from where he was beforehand, that passive, it's, it's, quite, it's quite great. So, like, same thing applied to, like, SSBKK. Same applies to these units that are going ahead and getting their EZAs as well. So we have this Gohan. Getting his attack through, and we are good. By the way, guys, if you enjoyed today's video, hit that subscribe as well as that thumbs up. Today's video like goal is 2,000 likes for the man Gohan. So we have Gohan here alongside Tech Goku. Tech Goku, we could actually exchange and have a triple Gohan rotation if I wanted, but we don't want that. Tech Goku, though, is really good because he uh, triggers all the links I need. He's a support unit, and also he is a Goku, so it all works out. It all works out for the best. So here's that defensive stat with support, by the way, 68K. And here we go with the, this uh, Tech Orb setup. And then also we'll get these STR ones as well. And if everything uh, breaks right, this Gohan in the front spot should see a dramatic increase. 1.5. Okay. Not quite the dramatic increase I was thinking. Not quite the dramatic increase I was thinking. So that means that it did work with the SS4 Goku because it just said Goku name. Unlike other cards, uh, it, it, a character whose name includes Goku is what it actually says. So I've pointed out on several occasions the difference between that and it actually specifying a character um, by like literal like what they mean. So like that applied to like Kid Chi Chi and Nail when they first started this idea of uh, naming the character requirements. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's not really relevant. But yes, there is a difference. So it, it apparently does apply to SS4s, which is good. Uh, so we're gonna actually float the pan here though, because I do need the pan uh, to go ahead and uh, show up on that other rotation so we can get that super set up with the active skill. So we're going to try for that. Next turn around, though, he'll actually be pretty impressive, though, I think. I think next turn we'll definitely see that jump because he'll be able to benefit from that Int Kid Gohan support. And that Kid Gohan is the, the Int type support, if you didn't know about him. He's, he's been in the game for about a week or two now. Um, the Int type support from the Int Banner that's currently live on the Japanese version. 
Uh, he is, I believe, 50%. So 50% three key to int types. It's quite crazy, man. It's quite crazy. It's, it's quite a crazy boost, man. All right. So Goku, you can get these. You know what? We'll let Gohan get a super powerful attack in that last spot with all these int orbs. <laughs> He's going to be quite good. All right. Uh, oh, his defense is about the same before orbs. Oh, my goodness. Wait, no, he just gets uh, – he does get further defense, 20% per. Oh, my God. And this is so many int orbs. <laughs> I think I was asleep the night that they came out. I, I sleep, man. I have a family, man. I got to sleep. Um, <laughs> and I never really did use them. Okay. Assuming that these guys don't beat this, he's going to be really strong. 1.8. Okay. That's impressive for where he was before, but I was thinking he might get closer to, like, 2.2 is what I was going to say. I was honestly about to say 2.2. So this Gohan's at 2.2. Okay. Well, at least we got to see the 2.2 million attack from a Gohan, I guess. I was literally about to open my mouth and say I, th I was thinking he'd be closer to 2.2. To, to um, you know what I need to do? I should have. We'll, we'll go a couple of turns longer and get it, I guess. I'm going to get Pan, and we'll get the Gohan. Kid Gohan. And we'll go from there. We're only going to be missing out on, like, Super Saiyan. And I guess Kamehameha, which isn't super relevant. But uh, only really Super Saiyan at that point. We might be missing out on Saiyan Warrior Race, but, like, th those links don't matter. Super Saiyan's the only one that matters. But I think they could go on a Saiyan Warrior Race anyway. Yeah, he does. So I'd just be missing out on Super Saiyan and Kamehameha. All right. So we go ahead and KO the TN. Let's see if we can get a little bit more out of this Gohan. Oh, I could, I could actually... Keep Super Saiyan. I'd keep Super Saiyan and Kamehameha. It might actually be honestly the exact same damage output, pretty much, that he would have if that would last spot was actually the uh, Gohan there. But I want the Gohan, so I won't do it here. But I think it I think honestly it would be about the same stat. Like literally to the T. It might be off by like, I don't know, 5k? Like not, not anything crazy, I don't think. Okay. So here we are. We need to float this Gohan one more time. And in a few turns, he'll come back with the actual proper setup. And we'll have everything exactly how I want it for that final setup uh, going forward with this Gohan. So that's there's so many Gohans, but you guys know who I'm talking about. The other Gohan. Okay, so 1.6 from this guy. So, uh, he can he can peak a lot higher than this, though, if he had Tech Goku. But uh, not a bad setup. We're also at that point where we're going to get the Dokkan attack. So that's good. Okay, so we'll just get the Dokkan attack here. It'll be unsupported because I'm not going to use... Uh, I'm not going to use my stuffs. Huh. She'll force into a super. So if I want to get the Dokkan attack here, I have to give it to Gohan right there. And we will have everything lined up, basically. Next time we see this Gohan Pan duo, we'll have everything lined up. The only downside is we won't be versus a tech enemy. Wow, Gohan, you're going to Dokkan attack against Piccolo, of all people. All right. All righty, then. Let's see what we do here. So 1.2 million. Not, not the highest attack set, but again, I'm impressed simply because of the, the jump that he had previously. Damage was really good, too. No crit. Type advantage, but no crit. Okay, so. You know what? I said we'd see how high he could peak with that other Goku here. Let's just go ahead and let this other Goku be here for now. Next turn will be our final turn. Uh, we'll have the double support and all that. We've seen basically what this Gohan is. The Gohan does, again, require a Goku card, so that's something worth mention. You definitely need a Goku card around. It's not hard to have a Goku on a team with Gohan at all, but you do. And unlike this uh, STR Gohan, it's not specifying Super Saiyan, so you're good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <it's>, yeah. <laughs> Quite a jump. Quite a jump. All right. 
So next turn, we're going to activate the active skill and go from there. Honestly, though, it might not be too much more than the double support rotation would have been. Active skill is uh, kind of hit or miss depending on the unit, but we'll see. All right, kawaii music. <laughs> All right, here we go. So uh, you, you stacked your own stuff. I was thinking, uh, I, was, I, was wondering, I was wondering whether or not he actually uh, stacked uh, the ally attack increase, but he stacks his own stuff. Since that's the case, um, it doesn't really matter where he's at, but I'll just let him stay in the front spot, I guess. I just won't give him too many orbs. I don't want him to like double super crit and just destroy the enemy, but here we go. Uh, Gohan is going to be quite powerful here. This is again our final turn with the Gohan. The dodge, nice. We like to see the dodge. Big yes. Huge crown, huge W. All right, good job, Gohan. Stop, thank you. Ah, 1.5. I figured that it wouldn't be that big of a difference for the active skill. It's really easy to overrate Arale. Uh, I was, we were talking about Arale on Twitter earlier. Um, GT Pan's active skill, it's good, but it's better on better units than it is on this Gohan. So yeah, there we go, guys. Um, ranging between like what, 1.2 to like 1.8 or so. So yeah, he's, he's really good. Uh, definitely good for a filler option on a team if you need that. I think though that Piccolo and, and, and Goku are probably going to be better from what I've seen a little bit of. We need to do the gameplay for those and see that. But, again, thank you all for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hit that subscribe if you are new. And we'll catch all of you guys in the next one.